Caliphate is a Swedish series set in both Sweden and Syria. It is 95% in Swedish with smatterings of Arabic and English and it is probably the best Swedish series that I've had the pleasure of watching since The Bridge. Now given that The Bridge is actually half Danish, I'd say that Caliphate is the best entirely Swedish series that I've ever seen. It concerns a very large number of characters, although it doesn't feel that way at all. It actually feels very tight and contained to these main characters. But when you count them up, there is actually quite a cast here. We have Fatima, who is an agent with the Swedish security service, who gets wind of a Syrian-based extremist group who want to strike Stockholm. But she's limited in what she can do about this because her superiors believe that the intel is false and will not let her pursue it. And I don't know what it is about this actress who plays Fatima, but I really like her. She just has the aura of a woman who would actually reach this kind of high clearance position. It's sort of this authority, but at times she will actually have to appear very vulnerable. She has to display a wide range of emotions and she does so beautifully. Then we have Pervin, who is a Swede who has wound up in Syria with a newborn baby and wants to trade intel about these extremists for a ticket home. And these bits were tense. What I like about this series is that you never feel like the extremists are not actually extreme. You genuinely feel like Pervin might die if she puts a foot wrong. But at the same time, they resist the temptation to write her as an idiot. She actually makes very smart choices along the way. One of the things that makes this show so enjoyable is that each of the characters taps into different emotions. And this is often overlooked, especially in series. For example, one of my favourite movies is Coherence, but it's only 75 minutes long. It doesn't really need a great range of emotion, it just needs to do one emotion really well. But series will go from anywhere from 5 to 15 hours, so they need to vary not just the intensity of the emotion, but the actual emotions themselves. And this series does this really well, because we sympathise with different characters in different ways. So we feel different things for them, and it never gets boring. But at the same time, it never feels disjointed either. Back in Sweden, we follow a character named Ibe, who is a teacher's assistant, but we quickly see that he has other identities and other agendas. Linked to that, there are also some teenage girls, two of whom are sisters, and they are undergoing radicalization. Now, this aspect of the story is okay, and the way that it ties in with everything means that it does work and even becomes quite intense later on in the series, but these girls go through their radicalization a little bit too quickly. Now, I'm not an expert, obviously, but I know that it takes longer than this to change someone's worldview, even an impressionable teenager. It's just too quick. I think we're supposed to assume that this has already started taking place before the series actually kicks off, but it just doesn't come across like that. It comes across as if they go from one thing to another very different thing way too quickly. But the family of the two girls, the sisters, is another emotional anchor for us, and it's another one that I think works quite well. Now, I did have a slight language issue within this family. It's hard to explain if you're watching either with subtitles in English or dubbed into English or your language. You probably won't even notice. It's something really for Swedish speakers, but it's just a personal thing It annoyed me. But putting that aside, I think this family story worked really well. Another thing that I appreciated as a student of Swedish is that it doesn't feel overly Swedish. Now, that might sound obvious when almost half of it takes place in Syria, but I feel like the parts in Sweden show a Sweden that actually exists. They're not talking about fika every three minutes, and this isn't happening over midsommar or Lucia Stog or anything. The language is the most Swedish part about this series. And without wanting to go too far down this rabbit hole, I also feel like they didn't bow to the PC brigade. This series actually takes a pretty ballsy stance on all this stuff, and it's all the better for it. This is the stuff that modern Sweden is actually dealing with. And when I talk to Swedes whom I've gotten to know a little bit better, this conversation often does come up. Whereas in a series, if everything is about knäckebröd, then it doesn't really feel Swedish so much as it feels like a Swedish 101 lesson. I watched a TV interview with two of the actresses from this series, and they say that they don't feel like this series is going to be like other Swedish series before it, and I think they've nailed it, really. 
it doesn't feel like other Swedish series before it. It feels much more gritty. Although Aliat Oppheim was the standout, I feel that all the actors in this series were excellent, even the young ones. None of them seemed to be trying to make us feel a certain way. I felt like I was watching people in these situations, so the whole thing is very convincing, even though the situations could be a bit unrealistic. For example, the convenient or inconvenient timing of some of the events makes for extremely tense moments that I'm glad they wrote in, but if you strip away that intensity, you are left thinking, wow, that really was incredible timing. But overall, it's convincing, and what is particularly impressive is how convincing it is as characters go to increasing extremes in their desperation. With the exception of the teenage girls that I've already mentioned, most of the characters really sell this idea that they have to make these extreme choices. The pacing is also excellent. It feels like they're going to peak too soon when all this stuff happens in the first two episodes, but then it turns out that the dial doesn't just go to 10, rather it goes to 20. I watched this series twice, the second time with Swedish subtitles, and it did turn out that I'd missed some things in the first watching, but even just writing this review, I think I'm going to watch it a third time. So it's definitely taken at least a place on my top 10 non-English language series, knocking Dark out easily, but probably going somewhere about halfway up that list, and that really pleases me because one thing missing from that list was a series entirely in Swedish. So guys, if you've made it this far through, make sure you're subscribed, let me know in the comments what you thought of Caliphate, and if you want to help me do this more often, then you can do that by supporting me on Patreon, I really appreciate you even considering it. Otherwise, check out any of the links in the description, those all help as well. Caliphate, overall, there were a few little bits that just weren't quite as convincing as the rest of it, and they let it down the smallest amount, but overall, I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend being my 9 out of 10. So it's a good one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.